Hey guys, and welcome back to Medieval. When we last left off, well, we destroyed the Pumpkin Serpent. And, uh, gee, that was quite an easy boss, actually. Now, let's go to the Sleeping Village. This is quite an interesting level, as uh, pretty much most of the enemies we find on this level we're not allowed to attack. Hmm, interesting. Well, I guess we can attack them. Oh, hello. You're an ugly fellow, aren't you? Yes, you are. Ugly blighter. Um. Okay. You, uh, you stick that axe in the ground. Jesus, look at them. My God, these are the people we're saving? Well, whew. Okay. I suppose we all can't be beautiful like, uh, Dan, can we? Poor villagers. The master possesses them. It mustn't hurt them. Hurt guards, though. They seek out an object of great power. Guards, eh? Well, okay. Well, we won't be seeing the guards till a little bit later. Anyway, yes, yes. As you can see, we already have 59% in the Chalice of Souls. It did uh, pop up there for a minute. Um, if we kill these villagers, we actually lose... Um, some of our soul percentage and if you kill too many you will eventually uh, not be able to claim the chalice of souls so bear that in mind right blacksmith's monthly old man Willie Green of Gallows Town was awarded smithy of the season by our readers and his outstanding uh, his outstanding casts have produced many intricate and hard-wearing iron goods and sculptures. Willie only uses the finest of metals in his work, and particularly noted for his magnificent busts. Old Man Willie was quoted as saying, Aye, when I get pumped on me bellows, there's no stopping me. It's all in the rhythm, up and down, up and down. I've always been inspired by the stories of Stanya from Iron Hewer, the greatest smithy that there ever was. Well, okay. Well, I guess that's going to come in fairly handy a little bit later. Right, let's get out of it. Oh, bloody hell, out the way. Jesus Christ. Crazy young girl. My God. Now, what have we got here? Oh, very nice. What's our health like, actually? Ah, we could use a little bit of a top-up, I suppose. There we go. Lovely. 600 HP. Now, I don't know when we're going to get our next life bottle either. I think there's nine in the game. Which, when you think about it, that's a crazy amount of health. However, as we have seen, our health can be stripped away quite fast. Now, let's see what's in the good book here. A crucifix once stood here, but the mayor took it. Find a replacement and see how the church should really look. Okay. Why would the mayor take the crucifix? Oh, bloody hell. Okay, we want to stay away from these little git bags. Um, right, what have we got? Ooh, we have a fountain. Oh, man. There's these, these kids are everywhere. God damn it. Cheese it. Out of the way. My God, I'm like candy to these guys. Right, let's get out of here. Ooh, a switch. Ah, that shuts off. Yes, the fountain. Excellent. Okay, now we just... Ugh, come on. Need... Oh, bloody... Oh, that was... Well, that was a little bit unfortunate, Dan. You're not the best swimmer, let's be honest. You swim like a brick. So let's try and avoid that in the future if possible. Actually, I think if we go down here... Oh, there's a merchant there. That's interesting. Pretty sure down here somewhere. No? Is there no... Oh, God. Is there no bottle of health? Oh, hello. What's in here? Out of the way. Out of... Oh, Jesus. We need to come in here. But Oh, you know what? We'll, we'll do this first. There we go. We have the moon rune now as well. Excellent. Come down. Don't worry about anything. Just keep moving. Just keep moving. As tempting as it is to murder these children, it's kind of frowned upon. Oh, hello. Loads of books. Loads of books. Uh-oh. Can we read these? We can. History of Galamir, Volume 1. During the dark time that was Galamir's not-too-distant past, it was King Peregrine. 
who thwarted Zarek the Necromancer and his plan to enslave the land. Zarek, once the king's mage, had fallen out of favour with the ruler for conducting outlandish experiments on the bodies of the dead. It was said that deep within Peregrine Castle, the dead were restless. The dead are to be honoured, not kept as playthings of alchemists, declared King Peregrine, as he banished Zarok from ca the castle. All of Zarok's living dead were routed out and destroyed. Zarok, being an unforgiving soul, went into hiding and vowed to wreak his revenge on the king. Oh, okay. Damn it. Ugh. History of Galamir, Volume 2. Rumours of ill-doing and dark deeds abound, abounded through the lands of Galamir. It was whispered that Zarok had employed the aid of shadowy demons to help build a vast castle. Under the cover of night, Zarok's dark army spilled forth from their corrupt haven. The army marched south across the Silver Mountains and through the Silver Woods. Soon afterwards, even the pumpkin lands belonged to Zarok. The folk of Galamir's Galamir's oh Gallo Town cried out for help. Save us, good King Peregrine. Retaliation was swift and violent. King Peregrine's forces, led by the brave Sir Fortescue, drove Zarok's army back from Gallo's town. There was much rejoicing, but the war was not over yet. Ouch. Ouch, come on. There we go. History of Galamir, Volume 3. News that Zarok's army had now taken the floodlands caused much concern. At this vantage point, Zarok could march west and take the Enchanted Forest. This sacred place would prove a bitter defeat if it fell into the, lands of the, into the hands of the evil sorcerer. It was Sir Dan Fortescue who once again led the king's militia to rid the demon host from the land. Yet the evil wizard was cunning and had prepared an ambush. A titanic battle. Yeah, can't get the words out. Battle ensued, of which history was never has never since seen the like. It is said that the day would have gone to Zarok, but for the skill and valour of one man, Fortescue led the charge deep into the massed ranks of the undead, felling Zarok's bodyguard, the fearful Lord Caradoc, and there, before finally succumbing to his own mortal wounds, slew the traitorous sorcerer. Sorcerer with one mighty sweep of his sword. Yeah, well, that one's not entirely true. However, this is quite interesting reading. So, Mr. Fortis, look, you are pissing me off, sir. Oh, God. Why would they put an enemy here when you have to read all this stuff? Um, so, Dan had actually had some successful battles before this. The forces of evil were destroyed, but at a terrible price. None but a handful of the king's militia returned from that field. Galamir lost a whole generation of young men that day, including Canny Tim, the legendary crossbowman, and Fortescue's second in command, who fell in the first volley of arrows. Technically, that was us. Zarek's body was never found, though. As if it lies unmourned in an unmarked grave, then no one in Galamir would shed a tear. The shadow demons that had fallen under Zarok's banner were unnatural creatures that did not belong in the world of mortal men. The king declared that they be banished, entombed under pure earth of the enchanted earth. Okay, that's weird. Imprisoned within an impregnable box of the king's design, the demons were buried deep underground. Their tomb was sealed with a magical device that has since come to be known as the shadow artifact. Oh, we have one of those. Or we will have one of those. Damn it. Look, well, you, you know what? I will kill you. I am going to kill you just because you're making it really hard to read. We do lose a little bit, but we'll be fine. As long as we don't kill any more. Um, heroes from history. A retrospective. Chapter 1. In addition to being the strongest man who ever lived, Stanya from Hewer was unsurpassed in his skill as a blacksmith. He was equally happy pounding on an anvil at home as he was pounding on someone's head in battle. It was said that his only fear was the end of the village smithy as the focus of manufacture in the favour of more centralised units as if. Chapter 2. Born in a humble peasant. Born a humble peasant to one of the uh, n nomadic tribes from the Eastlands, Blood Monoth Skull Cleaver gathered an army of horsemen and swept over half the civilized world 
When he finally died, attempting a single-handed attack on a garrison in the north, while armed only with a spike on his helmet, <laughs> he was the richest and most powerful peasant of his day. Chapter 3. Karl Sterngard spent most of his formative years under the siege at his family castle. Within his impregnable magic shield, Sterngard's motto was the best form of attack is defense. Sadly, his shield couldn't protect him against poor eating habits and died during a post-battle whilst feasting a battle feast while swallowing large, a large sausage he had failed to chew. Okay. Kind of like a, a very unheroic death there. Uh, chapter 4. Truly the hero's hero. Woden the Mighty was a fearless, single-minded, and uncompromising, unbeatable in combat. He inspired raw fear in his friends and enemies alike. Not to mention in close family members and pets. Chapter 5. Trained from birth in all forms of combat. Uh, I'm not even going to attempt to pronounce that. Imanji. Shon Gamma was the warrior queen of a tribe of Amazons. The bold and beautiful banished all males from her territory except the handful she kept on the mow of, oh, on to mow the lawns of her people. Yes, innuendos seem to be abound. Uh, chapter 6. A full-time mother and homemaker, Meg, Meg Whiny, Stormbinder had to defend her settlement from barbarian raiders whilst the menfolk were away on a hunting trip. She fought off repeated attacks armed only with a pitchfork and a rolling pin and with one arm holding her baby. Legend has it that the gods, impressed by her indomitable courage, intervened and added thunderbolts to her arsenal. She won the battle with a couple of bolts to spare on her husband when he finally returned. Ah. <laughs> Chapter 7 Dirk Steadfast was a fearsome opponent thanks to his magic sword and a firmly held belief that only women defend themselves. Okay. Real, <laughs> real women are all... Real men are always on the attack. He was a friend and contemporary of Karl Sterngard and was with him even to the end. It was whilst Steadfast was explaining his views on Sterngard's shield during the feast that the latter had his tragic and inexplicable accident. No Heimlich maneuver then. Chapter 8. Descended from the finest centaur bloodstock, Ravenhooves the archer was the last prince of his people, a proud and haughty aristocrat. He was an accomplished hunter, sportsman, duelist, playboy, uh, raconteur, never heard, never seen that before, uh, and three times derby winner. Chapter 9. Captain of the militia in the time of the king, Peregrine. Sir Daniel Fortescue found fame when he was killed, uh, when he killed the renegade wizard Zarat. A career soldier raised in the royal household, he was adorned by the men under his command and was renowned for his loyalty to Galimir. It was said that Fortescue was always destined for greatness with his square jaw, steely gaze and thick shock of hair as black as raven's wings. He looked every inch the hero. Yes, well... Sadly for Dan, that didn't help him much. Alright, what else have we got here? Tourist Guide to Galimere. The land of Galimere is a wondrous land of breathtaking sights and adventure. If it's beauty you're looking for, be sure to check out the sights of the enchanted forest. Scale the heights and see the nest of giant dragon birds. Seek out the weird and wonderful plant life. Go ooh and ah at the sights of the baby dragon toads splashing about in the crystal clear ponds. Why not take a walk through Pumpkin Valley? Pumpkin is Galimir's favourite dish. And about now, the valley is just bulging under the weight of young podlins awaiting harvest. My god, there's a lot to read here, isn't there? But it's entertaining. At least, I'm finding it entertaining. Tourist's Guide to Galimir Part 2. If it's mystery you're looking for, then the seasoned adventurer should travel to the ruins of King Peregrine's castle. Yes, this is the fortress from which the fabled King Peregrine once hailed. It is said that the king's crown was lost in the dungeon below the castle and that the ghost of the regent himself now haunts those cold stone passageways. Spooky. Why not take to the swamps and seek out the mythical town of Mellomade? This place was once said to be a place of fantastical arcane alchemy, but at an age, 
but an age has passed since it was consumed by the murky swamps. Perhaps great treasure awaits any adventurer that can locate its watery resting place. Hmm, sounds intriguing, doesn't it, Dan? Well, lucky for us, we can smash our way in here. What do we have? Found the crucifix cast. Oh. To whom it may concern, I must make haste, for Zarok's men will be here within the hour. I have taken the crucifix from the church. It is key. Oh, it is the key to a key. I used the cross to make the attached cast. Then I had it destroyed. It is my hope that this cast falls into the hands of a just and good hero. Signed, the town mayor. Well, my lord mayor, lucky for you. A kind and just hero is exactly who has your cast. Now, let's go find... We still need metal to smelt. Now, where was the metal to smelt? Now, if we remember reading about a bust out the way... Oh, I always forgot, if we bash these guys, we stun them. Maybe we should have stunned that bloke instead of in cold blood murdering him on the spot. But, yeah, I'm not going to feel bad. Um, now, a bust, a bust. That's the church. That's the smithy. We need another building. Ah, here we go. Oh, bloody hell. Calm down, love. Jesus Christ, these, these guys look monstrous. Um... Does it appear to be anything in here? Is this not... Nope, I guess that's not where we need to go. Troll's head. I don't think we can go into the troll's head, sadly. Ah, uh, where's this? Ah, this is what we want. Moon rune. And, if we're careful... There we go. Good work, Dan. Good work. Oh, bloody hell. Sorry, love. There we go. Oh, damn. You know, I just cannot resist when there's so many rats. Let's waste this infestation. There we go. We're doing the Lord's work now. Come on, you little bastard. Give me your gold. Lovely. Now, this bit always reminds me of Boulder's Gate. When you first start off in Candlekeep, uh, one of the quests you get is given to you by a dwarf to go in and slay some rats. I don't know why, but this little basement area always reminds me of that. Right, let's keep going. There we are. What have we got here? A club. Uh, not exactly overly useful, I suppose. But Oh, hello. Bloody hell. Oh, uh, rune, rune, rune. Up. Oh, God. All right, sir. Jesus. Ah, okay. So how do we get this? Bust of Mr. Shanks, landlord of the Troll's Head. To clean the statue, I lower the pedestal. Yes, yes, that's fine. Oh, hang on. I see, I see, I see. All right, calm down, ladies. Calm down. I'm trying to... S oh, God. How do we not... Oh, shit. Do we not smash our way in? I'm sure we smash our way in. Oh yeah, there we go. Right, okay. I'm not sure why that wasn't working. Cheese it. Fucking book it, Dan. Book it. There we go. Oh god. Ouch. Oh, treasure. Don't mind if I do. That's using your head, Dan. Lovely. Now, can we... Oh, bloody hell. I don't like the way these villagers are uh, kind of charging us at the moment. All right, let's get out of it. Come down. Up, 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 up. <sighs> right. We're going to have to do the old snatch and grab. Oh, God. There we go. That will do. Right. Now, let's get out of here. We can't charge with the mallet, it would seem. Um, sod it. Let's just get out of here. We're really low on health. Oh, bloody hell. Actually, no, we're not. We're not. We're not that low on health. <sighs> Thank God for that. Good to be out of there. Hello. Trouble afoot. Okay. Right, comrades, tear this place apart. Mm -hmm. If we don't find the shadow artifact, Lord Zarak will have us mocking out the demons for the next millennium. Yes. Well, I don't think you're going to have to worry about the uh, mucking out the demons. Come on, Dan. Let's put these guys in the ground. 
there we go. Now these guys are quite tough, actually. Ouch, we're getting buckshot in our ass, which is not exactly overly pleasant. Come on, buddy. There we go. Luckily, they're not the most accurate bunch. But when they hit, they bloody hurt. Actually tempted to enchant our sword. But I think, nah, it's a waste of money, to be honest. Okay. Oh, bloody hell. Hey, buddy. Hello. Have some sword. It actually looks like they hurt us just by walking into them, which is interesting. Uh, right, we used the life bottle. Now, where are we going? Ah, yeah, now we can actually... Oh, hang on. I think, if memory serves, there's some health up here. Ah, and some treasure. Nice. Don't mind if I do. We needed that vial. We're actually getting, oh god, a little bit lower on health than I would like. Now, let's go into the smithy and produce a new crucifix. Let's, ah, gold. Nice. Nice. To be fair, oh wow, there's lots of gold in these barrels. Hmm, intriguing. Right, oh, hang on. Let's actually put the materials in the furnace first. There's the crucifix. Cast, and then we need some metal. There we go. Right, work the bellows, Dan. Come on now, buddy. Let's do this in one smooth movement. Now, this does take quite a while to do, actually. But then I suppose you can't rush an artisan's work. There we go, Dan. We'll make a smithy out of you yet. Shame we can't smith a sword whilst we're here. That would be pretty damn cool. A little bit more. Yeah, man. Give me that crucifix. There's something I never thought I'd say. Almost there. There we go. Beautiful. Right, now let's go back to the church. Where are we going? Ah, there we go. Everything's so... You know, this level's so small. I'm, I'm sure the PSP version uh, was a lot bigger. Right, let's use that sucker. Ooh, and that reveals a key, which in turn opens a door. Excellent. Not bad, Dan. Dear sir or madam, on my travels across Gallimere, I, uh, I have come across many mysterious and enchanting finds. However, that which filled me with the deepest dread was discovered... Uh, was the discovery of the Tomb of Shadow Demons. The key to their dank prison, the mysterious shadow artifact, is now in my possession. That dress-wearing bully boy Zarak will stop at nothing to retrieve this item. I fear that he already knows that it is I who possesses it. Yours fearfully, the town mayor. Well, don't you even worry about that, Sonny Jim. Dan is on the case. Now, where was that? That was down here, I believe. Yes, excellent. Right, coming through. Where's that? Oh, okay, I thought there was a villager down here. He seems to have buggered off, which is good. Right. Now, if I remember... Yep, yeah, here we go. Couple of enemies. Come on, you slackers. Let's get this done. Oh, wow. We nailed that guy. And that one. We're still a little bit off from getting the chalice yet, but that's okay. Right, Dan, time to do our impression of Santa. Except we're going to be taking things instead of giving. Ah, one chest. Right, I believe we have a key for that. There we go. What an interesting key that is. And there we have the shadow artifact. That's kind of an interesting artifact. It's just uh, like a gauntlet. Which is cool. Oh, hello. What does that do? Oh, of course. <laughs> Let's us out of the level. Kind of important, really. When you think about it. Right, come on, Dan. Let's go. Now, we can't quite grab the chalice yet. But that's okay. There should be enough enemies left. A little bit of a pain because I killed that uh, villager, but... Had to be done. Had to be done. Oh, hello. A bit rude of him to keep interrupting us, to be fair, whilst we were reading the books. 
learning the knowledge. Right, let's go, Dan. Alright, you slackers. Let's get this done. Whoa, cut you, Dan. Uh, yeah, yes, there is still just enough. Wow. You know, their blunderbusses have a hell of a range on them. Alright, go. There we are. Now we can go grab our chalice and venture once more into the Hall of Heroes. Excellent. Um, try to remember what we get next. It's not a health jar. What have we got? Ah, yes. Yes, 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 yes. It might be the bow, actually. I can't remember how good the bow is. Do we do have the chalice, don't we? Do we not pick the chalice up? I've just suddenly had a brain fart. Surely we just grabbed the chalice. Yes, we did. Why is it not showing up in our inventory? Oh, hello. Never knew that was there. Okay. Unless, if we kill one villager, can we not grab the chalice? I'm intrigued. No, it's fine. It's fine. I thought it showed up on the HUD when we picked that up. No matter. Well, sadly, it looks like we're not going to be able to finish uh, another level. But then there was a hell of a lot of literature to read. Um, oh, yeah, we're upstairs now. Let's go, Dan. Let's go see. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Ravenhooves, if I remember correctly. Yes, it is. Damn, bloody good memory. Holy Look shit. You running around in your bones, Fortescue. <laughs> your oh, bones. I, Ravenhooves, last prince of the centaurs, have not galloped the earth in over 10,000 years. Just read about you, buddy. <laughs> Do yourself a favor, Fortescue. Take my longbow. Ooh. More powerful than crossbow. The option of flaming arrows Ooh. It is truly the weapon of noblemen. Oh, that's right. Yeah, we get flaming arrows. Yeah, from what I can remember, the crossbow's a beast. You don't quite have my breeding, Mr. Johnny come lately. Hey, now. But there's hope for you yet. Git. Well, I'll take your damn crossbow. Uh, longbow, I should say. Holy crap. Yeah, this thing's pretty cool. However, how do we use... How do... How do we use the flaming arrows? Unless we have to buy those separately, perhaps. Um, it's not the other button. I'm not sure. I can't remember. I'm sure we'll figure it out. Anyway, let's get out of here. I can't believe how long that level took. But then, there was a lot of reading. So, that would explain that. Right, so we're going to leave Dan's adventure here for now. When we return, we are going to the asylum, I think. Yeah, we're going to save. Come on. There we go. Right, when we return, we're going to go to the asylum. The asylum, I should say. Uh, the asylum grounds. Oh, I remember that place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have like... Um, Oh, that's kind of an interesting level, if I remember correctly. And then the Enchanted Earth as well. We'll probably go there after the Asylum, asylum Grounds, I, I reckon. Right. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. When we return to the Asylum. Till then, guys. Till then.